Ever wondered how your celebrity storms an event looking fabulous as always? Heck! Ever wondered what a signature style is or why it might be advantageous to cultivate one of your own? This is Fashion Code on GDP TV where I give you style inspos, fashion tips, must haves and do's and don'ts. Because I'm in my feelings, I have decided to add something to the show. So yes, I'll be analyzing or criticizing your favorite celebrity fashion looks. My name is Obianaju and this is still Fashion Code. Stay tuned. Before now, I used to rock off shoulder tops and dresses, forgetting that I have broad shoulders. But thank God, I figured out my own shape and found out what worked for me. Same thing you have to do. If you want to have a signature style, find out what works for you. Don't do things because everybody is wearing it or because that thing is in vogue. Number two, find a signature. Now, just the way you, you turn 18 and then you go to the bank and they tell you that you have to have your own signature, that's the same way you should find something that will always be on your body. It could be a wristwatch, it could be makeup, it could be a particular lip color, just like Victoria Beckham, who always uses the ruby woo red and makes it look like she is the only one walking on the street. Find that thing that suits you. Find that thing that boosts out your confidence. Find that thing that makes you feel like you are the most beautiful girl in the world. Number three, determine how you want to appear to others. Now you might want to appear to someone as sophisticated, as daring, as shabby, as scrappy, like as Nigerians would say, or you know, you have different looks. How do you want people to see you and read you? How do you want people to describe who you are? How do you want people to talk about you? Determine the style you want people to use to address you and walk towards that style. Number four, find your fashion archetype. Now there are different categories of fashion archetypes that helps you refine your search. You could want to look bohemian. If you're a conservative person, you could go for neutral colors. If you're a trendy person, you could just go for anything that's trendy. Anything you see on the red carpet, you go and sew your own and look fab in it. If you are a trendy person, you like to wear what's in vogue, anything that's on the red carpet, you quickly go and sew your own and rock it, then do you. If you are a romantic person, you always go for them flowing dresses, ruffled clothes, and as a man, you go for suits, formal, just do you. But make sure you find your fashion archetype. And number five, get to business. Now it's one thing to do your research or wanting to read a book and the other thing to go into action. Now I might say everything I want to say on the show but then you will just be there smiling at your screen like you're doing now yeah but you would not do anything. So number five get to business. Use the steps I have given you to start your own signature. It could be anything. Just think of something that works for you. Do not do what people are doing. Make sure that you have somebody that you look up to, like a mentor, someone you always look to, your style inspo, somebody that you want to look like, you know, have that person. It could be me, it could be your mom, it could be any celebrity of your choice. Just make that decision on your own and get to business. If you have suggestions, opinions, comments, be sure to drop them in the comment section below. And from next week, I'll be dropping a celebrity who doesn't have a style. But today, I'll give you a snippet. Let's talk about celebrity superstar, Simi. Ha! Have you seen how she looks? From bougie, to sophisticated, to scrappy, and even if they don't really fit her. But today, I'll be dropping a snippet. So have you seen her looks on the red carpet or when she's performing on stage or even her music videos? How she tries to look like a badass, bougie or even a gangster, not minding the fact that it doesn't fit her. You have to find your style, Simi, not missing out on her newest hairstyle, the low cut. Whew. Check this out, guys. Do you think she nailed it? Like, do you feel any of her look? I never feel any of Simi looks. But if you have your own opinions, be sure to drop it in the comments section, guys. We have come to the end of the show, guys. Be sure to stay glued to the channel for anything, be it entertainment, news, anything, fashion, education, anything at all. Be sure to stay glued to our channel. My name is Obiana Ju, and this is Fashion Code. Did you learn one or two things from the show? Let me know in the comment section. Bye, guys.